We are talking about climate change. Welcome everyone. We are happy to see all of you joining today to participate in the Safe Soil Movement. My name is Guneet and I'm a volunteer with Conscious Planet, the Safe Soil Movement. In today's session, we'll start with a brief introduction to the Safe Soil Movement, share the latest updates and Sadhguru's journey, we'll discuss what you can do to participate and we'll also answer if you have any questions. This will take about 40 to 45 minutes. So we hope you'll stay with us. Now some of you... We are talking about climate change. Some of you may be new to the Safe Soil Movement. So we'll start with a brief introduction. So what is the Safe Soil Movement? Safe Soil is a global movement to save our soil from extinction by bringing about a global national policy change to revitalize the soil by raising and maintaining the organic content in the soil to a minimum of three to six percent. Now let us all watch a brief video to learn more about safe soil. We are talking about climate change, carbon emissions and global warming and various other aspects but we are not addressing soil. Soil is the habitat upon which zillions of lives thrive. Once there is no richness in soil, then you have forsaken the planet in many ways. Every responsible scientist in the world and the UN agencies are clearly saying we have only eighty to hundred harvests left. That means approximately forty-five to fifty years of agricultural soil left on the planet. By 2045, we will be producing 40% less food than what we are producing right now and our populations will be 9.3 billion people. The food shortages that could manifest in the next 25 years, the consequences of that is unimaginable. Civil wars will unfold across the world once there is food shortage. What we are facing now is soil extinction. Why is soil becoming extinct? Where is it going away? What is happening to our soil? We must understand if you add organic content to sand, sand will turn into soil. If you remove all organic content from the soil, soil will become sand. In normal agricultural soil, the minimum organic content should be between three to six percent. The most minimum is three percent. At least this minimum to keep the soil alive, to keep the soil as living soil is a must. Agricultural soils across the world, the depletion is so heavy. In most countries, more than fifty percent of the topsoil is already gone in the last hundred years. The nutrient levels have dropped significantly. The level of micronutrients you would get from your food in early twentieth century to what you are getting from the same food now has dropped ninety percent. If you ate one orange in nineteen twenties, what you got from it, now in twenty-twenty, if you have to get the same, you will have to eat eight oranges. This is what we have done to our food. 
Soil is the biggest ecosystem on the planet and so few people know anything about it. One teaspoon of healthy soil probably contains more microbes than there are people on earth. The microbial life in the first twelve to fifteen inches of topsoil is the basis of our existence. It is this magic beneath our feet which has produced the life that we are. This first twelve to fifteen inches of soil is the basis of life for eighty-seven percent of life on this planet, including you and me. We have to begin to recognize that what we call our soil, Mother Earth, is a living organism. Open soils, ripped open by plowing, open to sunlight, is the basis of destruction of microbial life. So the focus should be on agriculture, the focus should be on seeing that land is under shade as much as possible. Some kind of shade, grasses, herbs, bushes, trees. Conscious Planet is launching Save Soil Movement to bring about a policy change to regenerate soil. As a part of this, <laughs> I'm sixty-five and I'm riding thirty thousand kilometers a lone motorcycle journey. 30,000 kilometers across 24 nations to activate support from the citizenry to assure the governments long-term investments will be appreciated. So it's extremely important that soil regeneration is enshrined in the policy of every government on the planet. We must change the narrative on the planet that soil is a wealth, a legacy we have received from previous generations and we have to pass it on as living soil for future generations. We are in a cusp of time, if you do the right things now, in the next fifteen to twenty-five years, we can significantly turn this situation around and regenerate the soil. But if we allow this to progress like this for another thirty to forty years, after forty years if we attempt this, then it could take hundred and fifty to two hundred years because that much loss of biodiversity would have happened. From twenty-first of March for one hundred days, the whole world, every human being on the planet should talk soil. We must hear the word soil, save soil everywhere to see that the narrative on the planet changes towards the most vital aspect of our life, the soil. Each one of you should reach as many people as you can to make this happen, Many global leaders and influencers are already participating in the movement. Be a part of this and let us make it happen. From my part, uh, as much as I can contribute. We're going to save the soil. Do your part. And saving the soils. Our future, our children's future, and our planet's future depend on it. Save the soil. We know what we must do. So let's make it happen. 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 As many of you may be aware, Sadhguru started 30,000 kilometer, 100 days motorcycle journey from London to South India on March 21st. During this journey, he met global leaders, influencers, decision makers, and citizens. We would now like to share a few highlights from the journey. 100 day journey spanning 30,000 kilometers, braving relentless storms, rain, snow, and sandstorms. From London to India, as part of a Safe Soil campaign. Its aim is to activate the support of over 3.5 billion people to change the world and make it a better place. It's a great pleasure for me, these beautiful Caribbean nations are going for this fast. This memorandum of understanding that we are signing, it will also bring some technical assistance to the Caribbean region. This is a historic moment because here is the first step to turn around. Soil. Let's make it happen. 
And talking about soil, you are on a mission. This 100-day motorcycle journey um, inspiring the world. It is not about the motorcycle, it's not about the journey, it's not about the song, it is about moving people on the planet. Make it happen, huh? Let's make it happen! What you're doing today is really important because people like you who have a wonderful following of millions and millions of people and what you're doing with that is so important with saving the soil. It's an extraordinary campaign. It echoes what we in the Commonwealth have been aspiring to do for a number of years. Nobody spoke about soil like Sai Guru does. If we all contribute, then we have a really strong voice. There has been so much excitement and everybody is so excited to hear Sadhguru. It's our common issue together, it's not for one nation, for one person, but uh, we as people have to unite and uh, to solve this. Of all of us have been part of this destruction. The only way is all of us become part of the solution also. Yeah. Thank you, Sadhguru, thank you. Riding on to Italy. Italy is raining heavily tonight. Ah, the rain and the cold, getting my knees all burned up. Red roads and motorcycles don't really like each other much. The most dangerous thing has been the winds. Sometimes winds were gusting around sixty-five knots. Wow. So literally my front wheel was just lifting up like it's a balloon. The wind, the cold, the challenges are there every day, every day for Sadhguru. It's literally death and life situation. It, it must be very taxing on his body. Of course he doesn't um, show so much of it, but we see him in a lot of pain. In this cold, slippery road and winds are picking up speed, no matter what the hell, I have to keep going. You think this is a problem? Relentless commitment to what you do, that is the only solution. Over two thousand years ago, this eternal city made the mistake of overfarming the region and that was also the fall of the city at that time. So, the Romans of today should never make that mistake once again. So it's like uh, a wave of hope. It's necessary for the future. And we are very happy that we are aligned in our message to uh, really hide the profile of soils. Young people, getting into farming is very good. That's the yes. future of the world. Thank you. I think there, it's a message of urgency, but it's also a message of hope. So I would really like to thank Sadhguru for his leadership. The global movement led by him addresses the soil crisis by mobilizing people around the entire world. An MOU to be signed between Isha Foundation and four per thousand initiative Soils for Food Security and Climate. Uh, Guru, what you are doing is really impressive. I'm quite amazed and thrilled by it. His mission is uh, what we need. It's fantastic. France has been great. We should all stand up and make the most impact we can to create a real change in the world. Save the soil. A smashing evening at the main event. And 
and a super enthusiastic crowd committing themselves to make this happen. This is heartwarming to see everybody come together. Safe soil on the moon. Let's make it happen. Just look up the news and see in the last four months, how many governments have started talking about soil because they see it's picking up momentum. But if you create three to four billion people talking about soil, that's it. That will be the main conversation in the government. Save the Soil is a very important movement that we support as UNCCD. We need to do everything to protect it and uh, prevent harm to the soil. Join Sadhguru in his movement. We are all with him. Save Soil, let's make it happen. The Education Ministry in Germany has now come into the picture officially and asked all the children to do artwork to support Safe Soil Movement. Good Arjun, wonderful. Congratulations that you wrote to the Prime Minister. Let's make it happen! These days, the modern mothers, if children go and put their hands in the soil and come, they say, your hands are dirty. No, they're not dirty. You are touching the source of your life. So, on the way to Bratislava, well, the road surface is not great. Morning it was below zero, there was snow flurries. These are uh, nations with the uh, much older cars and trucks and I see a lot more oil slicks on the road. Water, oil, motorcycle, boom, doesn't go well. I think there is a great potential for a good collaboration, partnership with the campaign Save Soil and what we are doing as a government. I totally agree with you. Your activity in the world will change the way of view of the policymakers. People from Istanbul were really amazed by Sadhguru to appear and they were just so happy to see him. This many people, if all of you are committed, I think I don't have to go on riding like crazy. Yesterday I rode 18 hours, can you believe this? He's been riding through very, uh, you know, rough terrain, rough, rough roads, dusty construction sites. It was a long drive and we were getting a little late for the live event at Tbilisi. He, right at the end, uh, maybe five minutes before the event, uh, decided that he couldn't stop for a break. In the traffic, he was just removing his jacket and gloves and throwing in the car just to make it on time. The whole purpose of this moment is to first to bring this home that when you walk upon the soil, you know it is the source of your life. Keeping it alive is the most important thing. Will you make it happen? Yeah! He's a gift from God for, for the people, for the earth, yes. for the soil. We must save the soil, we must plant the trees, we must replenish the forests, we must save our planet. Hopefully we will make it through the sand. Locals are warning us, no, no, no. But you know, we are one big ass. <laughs> the 
this is not for us. This is for him and his generation. Here in Palestine, wonderful to be here. I salute you and I respect your initiative and my full support of what is needed from the Palestinian side. When it comes to agriculture, when it comes to soil, when it comes to soil ecology, our national borders mean nothing because microorganisms operate as a global system. Well, it's very, very, I can tell you as a motorcycle driver, I also like motorcycles and it's not easy. He's devoted and this is what makes him so impressive and so he touches people. Dear Sadhguru, one of the world's voices and leaders on soil conservation and land, it's extremely important. It must be a single point agenda, incentive-based agenda. I don't want this COP15 to end as one more convention with more paper and more paper. This must end with concrete action. There is no word to describe what Sadhguru is doing for us. You honor the country, you honor the people of this country. Thank you. And on behalf of the head of state, it's my pleasure. <laughs> I want to thank you very much. It's a great privilege. Thank you very much. Thank you. If we act as one humanity, in the next 10-15 years we can turn this around. As for the uh, Muslim World League, we are completely ready to help you. <laughs> we have already loved you a lot. <laughs> uh, we have we even loved you even before seeing you. <laughs> and when we saw you, we even fell in love even more. <laughs> Just leaving Riyadh, <laughs> riding into a, some kind of a dust storm. It's an honor to have you here in this location, in the heart of Bahrain, in this ancient harbor. His thoughts and philosophies goes across all cultures and religions. Whatever he says, we believe in it as Muslims, and I'm, I'm sure all the Christians who are here believe in what he says. I think it's time for us all to rally as people behind soil and understand that it is our common ground. 930 kilometers, which means uh, probably we'll have to ride the whole night. But already, sand, minute particles of sand is in every pore of my body. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here with us, Sadhguru, on this, on this wonderful journey. The UAE is partnering with you on safe soil, such an important cause. Safe soil is surely a cause that we can all fully endorse. My dear brother Sadhguru, I would like to thank you for including the United Arab Emirates in your inspiring journey. Safe soil is one of the most important things on the planet right now. It's not his mission, it needs to become all of our missions. I'm here to save soil. I have joined the Save the Soil movement. Uh, as a chief minister, I should lead from the front. He's uh, doing it even before I reach Karnataka. <laughs> <laughs> How do we leverage the collective mind of farmers to make it a more impactful movement? If you assemble 500,000 people in your place, our people will come there and uh, tell them how to go about it. Our road is hard, engine is hard. The seat is getting very hot, my clothes are hot, I'm the only cool one out here. <laughs>
Oman, one more desert I have to ride. They said, no Sadhguru, Oman looks like Kerala. <laughs> if one part of your nation is green, it just takes a determined effort to stretch that green all the way up. to describe what it means to be back in India. It's a very proud moment to have amidst us the saviour of the soil. You are in Gujarat since two days. How do you feel about People are cool, but the weather is hot. <laughs> Will you promise me in the next hundred years' time, we'll make the weather also cool for future generations? Soil we must for you only, okay? While we were shooting and uh, sitting in, in a car, we could see the kind of discomfort that he was uh, going through. Especially once he went through Rajasthan. The heat was simply unbearable. And the roads that he has to drive on while it's that hot, there are just bumps, sometimes there are potholes, vehicles which are going against the traffic, cattle that are just crossing the road, people that are crossing the road. People used to mob him. We can understand it's it's out of love, but still it's too dangerous. As uh, the Prime Minister has taken up the Solar Alliance, I think there's an immense opportunity after talking to various leaders around the world, I realize India and uh, the Prime Minister of India could take up the leadership of soil regeneration in India and the world. Sadhguruji ne yatra ki, dunia ko mitti ke pati sneha to paada hua hi hoga, लेकिन भारत की मिट्टी की ताकत का भी परिचय मिला हो। As a capital city, you have a more important responsibility than anybody else. Will you keep it up for the next few months till this policy happens? Let's make it happen. La 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 la. उत्तर प्रदेश की 25 करोड़ जनता इस पूरे अभियान के साथ जुड़ेगी मैं ये वचन देता हूं कि मिट्टी बचाओ अभियान में आपके पीछे हम कदम से कदम और कंधे से कंधा मिलाकर साथ चलेंगे After nearly a month in the desert land, first taste of monsoon as we enter Maharashtra with a welcome rain. 25,406 kilometers to Nasik. Right now my motorcycle is raining now. We drove pretty much through the night so that we could make, make it to Bombay and that day it rained also. His t-shirt was fully drenched, he's riding through the night. There was just no break for him, he's just constantly riding, riding, riding. We are committed to this cause 
एंड आई एम हियर टू से दट महाराष्ट्र अपने सोबत है ईशा फाउंडेशन सोबत है सेफ सॉइल सोबत है government we have not only signed the mou i promise that we will do everything under the command to save soil so uh, as i park here it's 27854 kilometers Now the journey culminated in Coimbatore, South India at the Isha Yoga Center on June 21st, the day of the International Day of Yoga. If you've not seen the event, the live event, please watch it. We'll share the link in the chat and the link is also available on the savesoil.org, the events page. Now though the journey has culminated, the movement needs to be on until policy change to the safe soil happens across the world. We encourage all of you to keep up the momentum that has built over the last hundred days. We have witnessed how much Sadhguru has gone through it to make it happen. We simply cannot let it go waste. Just a few months ago, no one was talking about soil and now half of the world is talking about it. 74 nations have expressed support to save soil and over 3.2 billion people have spoken about it. Let's build on this momentum and make this happen for our future and future of our children. Speaking about the future of the movement, Sadhguru explained that the dangerous journey is over but the real hard work begins from now. Referring to the life risking journey he undertook while also attending over 600 safe soil events in the past 100 days. Over the next few months, Sadhguru will be traveling to over 20 nations, including the United Kingdom, US, South American, and Caribbean nations, to concretize the policy action for preserving and regenerating soil. He said, Somewhere between 12 to 18 months, most nations, we can push them towards making some kind of soil regeneration policy, expressing his confidence in positive and imminent action towards the safe soil. Now, Sadhguru has asked us to spend at least 10 minutes a day spreading the message about soil for the next 12 months. Now, amplify the message on social media and reach as many people as you can. Educate yourself at safesoil.org and share the information with others. Can we all do this? Yes. This is our generational responsibility. We need to do this for the sake of our children and future generations. Let's stand up to this and make this happen. So if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to type in the chat. We'll take a few questions. While we are waiting for the question, if there are any, I do want to mention a lot of people have asked me, you know, I am composting, I'm growing this plant in my backyard, what more can I do individually? And the answer is that we want the collective voice. 
speak up, learn as much as you can from the safesoil.org. Once you understand and you pass this information, you could talk to your colleagues at work, maybe talk to people as you commute to work, to your neighbors. As long as we are raising this voice and the numbers grow, the governments will be urged to make the necessary policy changes. And that's what is needed. It's wonderful to see so many people engaged and uh, sharing the hashtag Safe Soil. Okay, I see one question. So we know he's asking, how can I contribute to this initiative in social media? It's a very good question. So we know the firstly, I don't know how, uh, what's your proficiency level. So at the safesoil.org website, if you go there, there are tutorials available to train you, even if say you are somebody like me who was starting new, there are tutorials to teach you how to leverage social media, share information, and you could use um, facts, soil facts, the movement, you can use hashtag, there are social media handles available and share it on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or any other social media platform that you wish to. The idea is consistency and you do it every day on a daily basis. And it also on the website teaches you how you can tag individuals, how you can hashtag people and organizations so as to your reaching out to maximum people and amplifying that information. Thank you, Sai. Sai is mentioning he's been sharing the Safe Soil movement on social media. That's good to know. So we would like to close then. Thank you all for being part of this historic movement. Let's keep up the momentum going. We'll close with a short clip from Sadhguru's journey combination event in Coimbatore. Safe soil, let's make it happen. Thank you. It's nice to be back here and it's cool. I thought once I land in India, it's going to be better. But Gujarat was competing with Muscat. <laughs> Rajasthan was competing with Saudi Arabia. But this is the first time I'm experiencing a cool breeze. In the next month and a half, at least twenty-one to twenty-two nations I'm traveling because the next level of action needs to happen now. Somewhere between twelve to eighteen months, most nations we can push them towards making some kind of soil regeneration policy. But for this, your voices should rise and stay raised at least for next twelve months. This is your daily puja, that for ten to twelve minutes a day, you will spread the soil message. This very body is soil, my body, your body. Everybody is just soil body. The magic of soil is it turns death into life.
depleted soils will not quench the fire of hunger. Unquenched hunger can burn the very world. This is a generational responsibility. Save soil, let's make it happen.